UFC on Fox 11, it's going to be a heavyweight battle. Fabrizio Verdum is taking on Travis Brown. And you know what they did? They put Cain Velasquez back. And they really made a contender emerge. And I feel it, guys. These two guys deserve it. These two are the best. And the winner deserves Cain Velasquez. And I don't want to talk about what's going to happen when, when they face Cain Velasquez. Because that's a whole other story. But... Breezy over Doom, man. He lost to Alistair Overeem back in Strike Force when, you know, Overeem was at his peak. And uh, came into UFC, did great, won three in a row, uh, embarrassed his opponents, Roy Nelson, Mike Russo, and the great one, Antonio Rodrigo Noguera. He submitted him via armbar. And he's taking on Travis Brown. This guy's a bull, man. I seen him at UFC 168. And he doesn't mess around, you know, he's not your typical Hawaiian. Uh, acts more like a New Yorker or just a pissed off guy. Uh, gotta love it. This guy's intense, man. Uh, totally smashed Gabriel Gonzaga. I thought it was in the back of the neck, but uh, he beat him in 91 seconds. He's also had three wins in a row. He beat the Reem, man. And uh, I won money on that fight, classic fight. I got no credit for uh, betting on the other underdog there, but you know, life's not about bragging. And uh, beat Barnett, guys. I was saying he was going to beat Barnett, so I've been on the side of Travis Brown this whole time. I'm bragging. And uh, I've made money off Travis Brown, and, and now I'm slightly confused uh, versus Fabrizio Verdu because uh, if it comes to the ground, we know Travis is long and lanky, and Fabrizio wants to take advantage of one of those limbs. But standing up, it's a whole nother story. Fabricio's striking has improved. We saw it in the Roy Nelson fight. We saw him embarrass Roy Nelson, and we saw him knock out uh, Mike Russo. But uh, I'm feeling Travis Brown on the stand-up based on sheer power. What do you think, guys? Do you think I'm wrong? I want to know your opinions, you know? Uh, been out of the game for a bit, but uh, I'm back. Thank you so much, and I want to throw, show, throw a shout out to Nigel right now. Nigel, you're my boy, bro. I appreciate everything. Um, but uh, I'm going Travis Brown on this, man. I, I feel Travis Brown. I've been riding him high for a while, and maybe I just don't want to give up. But uh, Fabricio poses a lot of threats, you know, a lot of threats. And uh, it's, it's his uh, MMA versatility here, the fact that he can fight on the ground, you know. And uh, the thing about Travis is he hasn't really lost. Uh, he's been knocked out once uh, by Antonio Silva. And that was the fight before, back on UFC on FX number five. So, you know, they both won three in a row. They both have a lot of momentum. And the winner of this fight gets four in a row, hopefully a good fourth one, and supposedly the right to face Cain Velasquez. So I'm feeling Travis Brown versus Cain Velasquez. But, you know, uh, if it was Fabrizio versus Kane, I would not be surprised. Anyway, guys, I'm out, man. I'm done. I can't say anything else. So I want to hear your thoughts, your opinions, as always, man. That's the point of this. Who's going to win this fight? Uh, is Fabrizio going to win? And, and if you think so, I want to hear it because that's not what I'm putting forth. So you put it forth. That's your job, bro. And uh, if you're with me on Travis Brown, just say, hell yeah, bro. I'm out. Going to UFC 170. Yeah, baby. Got my tickets. Only 60 bucks. I'm proud. Peace.